guys, Risque here and welcome back to LA Noir. So last we left off, uh, we were investigating the murder of yet another, yet another woman. It's just- The husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession, and we can charge the bum with murder. Can everybody just get out of my way, please? Good God. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so just turn on Broadway. Can do. Can do. <coughs> Excuse me. These cards are kicking my ass, man. If I could just drive around LA like this, that would be great. I would get places so fast, you don't even know. You don't even know how fast I would get everywhere. If I drove the way I really wanted to drive, I could get from like Santa Monica to Long Beach in 30 minutes. Less than. Door to door. But way it is I can barely get from Santa Monica to Venice in 30 minutes door to door <clears throat> Central Police Station 429 p.m. going this way all right I'll follow you you know where things are around this place I do not uh, all right they said interrogation one there we go Ackerman you were in the Marines how do you know the Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty that's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Why did you kill Mrs. Terrelson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. We found a matching piece of rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. Where were you around 2 a.m. last night? At the camp. You were up on the hill. You were seen during the day. We have a witness. We have evidence. Come clean with me, Ackerman, and I'll see what I can do for you. I despise your pity. You have nothing that links me to this woman. We have you cold, Ackerman. Her purse and the ballroom ticket were in your lean-to. Tell us why you did it. I kill because people need killing. It's what I was trained to do. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. A man down on his luck, I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor Theresa Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. Mm. 
Okay. That didn't stay right. Whew, that's a lot of vehicle damage. The early visit to the hobo camp might have offered a lead, but good luck finding a coherent witness. Jesus. we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. Forty-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Like, why did the developers of this game hate women so much. This is it, it's starting to feel real fucking icky. Another body and dear to mother's ring. The emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. Exactly. Did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? It just feels fucking icky. Okay. Let's go to the pawn shop, 348 South Main Street downtown. Okay, that's close to here, isn't it? Hope so. Okay. Right, wrong button. <clears throat> yeah, just take first to Main. Main to the pawn shop. Works for me. You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. Any central unit, 459 suspects to be taken into custody at the drone. Nah, I'm good. Lucas Avenue, stand by for further. I'm good. Calm Not down! Bad. Shut up. Now when the destination is so close. <clears throat> Pawnbroker, 10.22 a.m. How can I help you boys? Yeah, you can answer my fucking questions. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I going to get something for this pledge? I gave that bum money, now you guys are going to leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. 
I have the rings right here. Okay. Let's see. What's ah. this mark here? Baker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down in Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Good to know. What about this one? Does this mark mean anything? Oh, Mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. I like it. It's a lot of coal. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. Okay. Colonus, uh... <clears throat> Let's go to the rail yard. Sounds great. Yeah, these these female victims are it's getting a little old. Like really, really old. Okay. Especially because they're always it's just always so brutal. And it's like why? Why is that necessary? Okay, so take Third Street, and then Fourth Street, and then Santa Fe. Sounds good to me. And I'll run into everybody. I don't give a shit. We have a Shouldn't problem. be in my way. You could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. Just go easy, Phelps. <clears throat> the address is bogus. Purpose having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, and the man who killed him is with the may have also killed dear Vermont. And how do we prove that, Phelps? Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. I just feel like, okay, I get it, they're they're making the whole, the Black Dahlia killer like a serial killer, but I'm just like, I don't think I needed every single crime in the homicide unit to just be another murdered woman. It really didn't, didn't add that much realism for me. Um, it didn't add that, that, that wow factor for me, I just, I didn't need it. They could have done it in less cases. Just saying. Throwing that out there. How the fuck do we get to this place? Oh my god. Should have known that that was under a fucking bridge. Okay, but I think I should be able to take. What is that? Own own it, Tao? Um, oh, wait. Molino. Molino. I was looking at it upside down. Okay, Molino Street. I guess we'll do it that way. Yeah, I think I just, I have if a lot of things this game, I really do. Maybe those metal things in front of you called cars will know you're in a hurry. Oh Are you choking me right now? Fuck these bridges, man. Because that looks like a bridge too, so I'm like, oh my god. This is getting annoying. Slow and steady, Shut come on. Up. Get to Santa Fe from here? Jesus Christ. Okay. It would just be, it would be a lot easier if they would give me like a, kind of like in Grand Theft Auto on Saints Row when it tells you the way to go, instead of just giving you some blip on your map. You boys ready? Follow me. Oh, 
We should keep this development with the rings under our hat until we speak with the captain. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Okay, where's the coroner? Are you the coroner? Oh, no, you're the coroner. What's going on, dude? What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. I was like, can't someone else investigate these cases? Why do I have to do every single one of these serial killer cases? Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. The autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Because if a girl gets drunk, she obviously deserves to be murdered. Of course, sure. Yeah, I think I'm ready for this game to be over. It's really kind of a bummer, because I've really been wanting to play it for so many years. Another missing ring. It certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be yeah. more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window was the best I can do. Uh, let's start over here. What's this? Levine's liquor store. Shoot for personal items, not booze. It's not even worth investigating. Two large suitcase, small suitcase, bedroll, pillow, plain bed sheet, three photo frames, hairbrush, bowling pen, statuette, makeup clothes. Okay. Nice. Love it. Oh, it's that another bar. Someone at Menches will remember her. Especially because it's like, not only is it getting just really icky to see so many dead women, um, it's getting, these cases are getting monotonous. It's like I'm finding the same evidence, same everything. We could go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Paul. Keystone Studio Lot closed back in 41. Well, never mind then. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Dear Evelyn, I hope that this letter finds you in a better way than when we last parted. Bitter words were exchanged. You had taken too much liquor, and we both know what that makes you become. But I am not willing. Writing to harass and accuse, I am writing to apologize. I was heartbroken seeing what had become of my little girl and what she is doing to herself. You are destroying your body and your soul with liquor, Evelyn, and it was harder for me to watch than you can imagine. Oh, for the love of all this holy. But only God Almighty above us has the right to judge, and so I beg your forgiveness. I, mean, I was trying to get her to come home. I've been in contact with the sanitarium here in Connecticut on your behalf. They say your condition is an illness, Evelyn, and that it can be uh, treated. You only need to check yourself in. It will not... I'm guessing she wasn't interested. Okay. Is that it? What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, there's the other guy. 
All right. What's going on, dude? Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Okay. Guess we're done here. Okay, let's uh, go to the... the telly. The telly found. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks, ma'am. Okay. I missed a witness. Mr. Witness, just not sure. Who is it? You? Is it you? Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. Yeah, I disagree, but okay. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. Did you take any money? It wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I could tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Clyde! You get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Rusty really is the epitome of a broken clock. Because, yeah. Punch that sick fuck again. It's just like, I feel like the devs are just enjoying this treatment of women a little too much. 939 South Hope Street. Let's go. So yeah, if the game can end or we can go into maybe like a different plot line, that would be really cool. Agreed okay. that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. I can't do that. I want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay then. Armies can't fight without food. Spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? I don't even know what they're talking about. Okay, how the hell are we getting to this place? Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, um, oh, I really wish there was a fast travel option. Okay, so, Mateo, we can take that to 7th. And that should take us pretty close. Yeah, take 7th to Hope. That's a long drive. 
Okay, that's fine. Sure, why not? We're already out of the way. We may as well keep going out of the way. Oh shit, actually, on that note, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.